Welcome to Rybrook BMW Worcester, Adrian Reed speaking. Here we have a 1059 Jaguar XF3 litre diesel, uh, luxury, uh, one owner from new, 83,000 miles in silver with black leather, VU59 MVK, it's a one owner car with full Jaguar main agent service history. I'll walk you around the car starting with the uh, near side front corner. Um, I haven't had this car cleaned yet, literally it's only just landed. There's quite a lot of flies across the front, but the, the uh, front bumper is uh, reasonably well chipped. Probably as you'd expect at 80 odd thousand miles. Sort of down the leading edge of the uh, the bonnet. It's got the nice chrome mesh grille there. There are a lot of flies on the car. It probably would look better with a good clean. Um, but nonetheless, there's a few chips on that bonnet too. Moving around to the offside front wing. Oh, looks good. Okay, a few splatters of tar here, which will uh, come off with my nail. Uh, the alloy wheels need to require a good clean. They don't really appear to be damaged. Just a lot of build-up of brake dust. The Jaguar badge is corroding in the centre. Uh, got a reasonable tyre on there. Probably had no three millimetres. Probably there. Uh, I can see the wear bars, but uh, reasonable tread on that just at the moment. Looking down the off side of the car, you can see quite a lot of little dent master dents and little chips all along the swage line on the uh, driver's door and on the passenger door and as you can see, probably I hope it shows on the camera, there are a few little nicks and scratches really on all those uh, those panels down that side. I think a lot of them would uh, would come out with a good polish but uh, the dents are uh, apparent nonetheless on that door strip, I don't know whether it shows up on the camera. Looking at the offside rear wheel, again needs a good clean, build up a brake dust on it. There's a slight curbing but nothing major. Nice Dunlop tyre on it, but getting a bit thin in the centre there, so getting close to wanting a new tyre on that car. Moving round to the rear. Rear bumper, there's a few little marks, nicks and scratches. Again, all across that back bumper, down here, just below the parking sensor. And again, there, quite a deep little scratch there on the near side of that bumper. Uh, and a slight dent master here with a, with a scratch on the other which shows next to the Jaguar badge on the uh, on the tailgate. Bit of a shame that. Let me see if I can open the boot up. I don't know how to open the boot on one of these. Let me get the keys for one second. Here we go. Let's have a look in the boot area. Sorry, taking a bit of time. I can get the key there. Right, opening the boot up. Here we go. Uh, a little bit grubby in uh, in the boot, so he wants a jolly good clean. A few scratches down the uh, rear panel on this uh, inside here. Um, we'll have a look underneath the carpet. Spare wheels there, battery, etc. Jack doesn't look like the wheels ever been on. Just needs uh, a jolly good clean. This car. Looking down the near side, car looks fairly fresh. Can't see any uh, major damage. Again. Quite a lot of little dent masters down the, the swage lines on the, on this car. Bit of a shame, but they're there nonetheless. Looking at the near side rear tyre, that's right down on the wear bars here. And the uh, near side rear wheel is quite badly curbed. So uh, one would probably want to do a um, all four wheel refurbs on this car. But as you can see on the camera, there are some just little nicks and scratches all the way down, like shopping trolley dents, all down both the swage line on that try and pick it up as best I can on the camera for you. Some uh, light scratches on the front wing here from sort of hedgerow etc. Front near side wheel needs a jolly good clean, uh, clean and uh, some wheel refurbs there and the tyre getting thin so it's just above the wear bars in the centre there. But moving around we'll have a look inside the car starting with the rear got the black leather, got the dark wood trim uh, leather all seems to be in reasonably good order, so you could do with a good clean. It's got the uh, Jaguar over carpets. Um, just needs a proper, proper valet. Looking at the uh, driver's door, that all looks okay. Obviously a few kicks and scratches and marks on this kick strip as you enter the vehicle. And some lights sort of sinkage now and some various cracks starting on that driver's seat. Moving inside. Uh, we have two keys. I'll start the car up. Starts up nicely. Sounds very sweet. Obviously, I left the boot lid open. So, 83,615 miles, low fuel level. Uh, the car has got reverse camera, 
Um, we have satellite navigation as well. Let's make sure that all works. Let's agree with that. That's all there as well. So there we go with that. Looking around the inside again, you know, as I say, it all looks okay. Um, just wants a jolly good clean. Uh, it all seems to work. Can't see any warning lights that shouldn't be there. Uh, I've got a registration document. One owner from new, registered on the 15th of January 10, uh, XF Luxury V6 Auto, 3 litre. And I've got a service book here with Jaguar stamps in our local dealer here. Hat was Hatfields now Listers. Uh, serviced at 15, 27, 44, 57. And last one by the looks of it was at 71677 on the 19th of December 2014. So a nice comprehensive uh, Jaguar service history. So there we have it, Jaguar XF, 3 litre, in silver with black leather. It's Adrian at Rybrook BMW in Worcester. If I can move any further help, please do give me a call 07879 643 807. Thanks for watching.